My name is Greta Thunberg and I want you to panic. I am submitting this report as my testimony because I don't want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to the scientists. And I want you to put, unite behind the science. And then I want you to take real action. And I think the reason why we are seeing this outpouring of support, not just in New York City, but from Mumbai to mm. Berlin to South Bend, Indiana, is because young people are fed up with, um, we are fed up with the political establishment that appears to be asleep at the wheel when the planet is on fire. We are fed up with seeing our politicians pad their pockets with big oil dollars when our very futurists feel like they're on the line. It seems like the key word in, in this is global. Mm. In, in the, and we've known this uh, forever now. The in, environmental issues like, like climate, the temperature of the earth knows no boundary. So, so you, the, the activism within one country is not enough. This was, this was clear today. In Enciclica Laudato Si, ho invitato tutti a collaborare per custodire la nostra casa comune, per capire quanto è urgente sia la sfida che abbiamo davanti. Dobbiamo puntare sulla educazione. Ogni cambiamento però ha bisogno di un cammino educativo. Noi non possiamo fare un cambiamento senza educare a quel cambiamento. Alarming things are happening, which are a fulfillment of Bible prophecy. The Club of Rome, which are an environmental think tank of consultants for the United Nations, are saying that the common enemy of humanity is man. In searching for a new enemy to unite us, we came up with the idea that pollution, the threat of global warming, water shortages, famine, and the like would fit the bill. All these dangers are caused by human intervention, and it is only through changed attitudes and behaviors that they can be overcome. The real enemy then is humanity itself. Men like longtime ambassador of the United Nations, Henry Kissinger, are saying world population needs to decrease by about 50%. Another is Ted Turner of Turner Broadcasting and subsidiaries like CNN and the Cartoon Network. He says that a total world population of 250 million to 300 million people, a 95% decline from present levels would be ideal. Ted Turner is also associated with the UN and is the founder and chairman of the United Nations Foundation. And the agenda of the United Nations is Agenda 2030, which is promoting the idea of the world being unlivable by 2030 unless we make major changes to our lifestyles. And so the UN has been able to use these things like the Cartoon Network to brainwash and re-educate the masses of children. They also must control the education system. Hitler once said, let me control the textbooks and I will control the state. Which brings me to the Pope's mass call for re-education. During a September 10th press conference en route to Rome from Madagascar, the Pope insisted that when the United Nations speaks, man must listen. Now that's not good news. He says, when we acknowledge international organizations, we recognize their capacity to give judgment on a global scale. For example, the International Tribunal in The Hague or the United Nations. If we consider ourselves humanity, when they make statements, our duty is to obey. We must obey international institution. That is why the United Nations were created. So Pope Francis is saying we must obey the United Nations. We're about to get to how this is Bible prophecy. It should be very interesting to see how many are behind this as it happens. We're told that he has invited all religions, athletes, businessmen, scientists, and all the great men of the earth, he said. Now I'm reminded of ancient Babylon where we read the book of Daniel that Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to gather together the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up, Daniel 3 verse 2. And it is no different today. Revelation 13 talks about the beast which is the papacy and how an image is to be set up very similar to the image set up by Nebuchadnezzar. Forced worship will be contrary to the law of God and be enforced by state power. Revelation 13 also talks about healing wounds and that is what we read about in this education pack where there is a subtitle called Healing the Planet and right under this subtitle we read the following. 
The May 14th Global Compact Initiative seeks to involve international organizations and the great ones of the earth in helping to heal the fracture between man and the absolute. Just like Nebuchadnezzar in ancient Babylon calling all the great ones of the earth, you see an image is being set up for us to bow. In Revelation 18, we're told of modern day Babylon, and it says, For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all the nations deceived. Revelation 18, 23, this speaking of the papacy. Now, isn't it amazing that the same words are chosen by a leader of a modern-day Babylon who's gathering all the kings of the earth for war against the remnant children of God? Babylon is the mother of harlots. She's selling to the great men of the earth, and now they're buying. Will they come up and be part of this re-education of the earth under the United Nations, a church and state union? You see, Revelation 17 tells us of the mother of harlots, the church guilty of sin, and her judgment which comes for fornication with the kings of the earth. The woman is the church and the kings of the earth are the state power. And the church controlling the state through the education system is very important to them. This woman in Revelation 17 has a golden cup in her hand full of filthiness of her fornication, full of blood of martyrs from her fornication with the kings of the earth. Over 50 million martyrs during the Dark Ages, and this isn't going to stop today. The Bible says we have the book open, and if anyone desires a true education, the Father's Word will make known to them that there is a call out of this church, as well as her fallen daughters who are going in the same footsteps. Revelation 17, 12 tells us that the ten horns are the ten kings, and verse 16 says the ten horns will make her desolate. She has a cup full of abominations that have made her desolate. The abomination with the kings of the earth, the abomination of fornication, the abomination of church and state is an abomination of desolation. The abomination of church and state is the abomination of desolation which fills the cup with the blood of martyrs. We are also told regarding these kingdoms that these kingdoms have one mind. Another word for one is unity or united. They're united kings, united kingdoms, united nations. So Pope Francis is saying we need to re-educate the children. At the same time that Greta Thunberg has a massive following of over 4 million children being brought to believe that climate change is about to destroy us all within 11 years by 2030. This Monday, world leaders are going to be gathered here in New York City for the United Nations Climate Action Summit. The eyes of the world will be on them. They have a chance to prove that they too are united behind the science. They have a chance to take leadership, to prove they actually hear us. Do you think they hear us? No. We will make them hear us. No. She's also getting the labor unions behind it. So this may be a buy or sell issue. And Greta is saying, get behind the science. I am submitting this report as my testimony because I don't want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to the scientists. And I want you to put, unite behind the science. And then I want you to take real action. You know what? Pope Francis is saying the same thing. Get behind the science. In 1989, when I was in school, they told me in science class that we'd all be dead by global warming by the year 2000. And I came to learn that this science was science falsely so-called, as the Bible puts it. See, God is calling us for a true re-education. Remember in ancient Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar also picked some of the children like Daniel and the three boys and brought them to Babylon to re-educate them? That's what modern day Babylon is doing today. They want to re-educate all the children. There will be a few who will take their stand on the Lord's side, just as there were a few in that day. Pope Francis cited Laudato Si first thing in his address on this re-education plan. And Laudato Si is about saving the planet. But it also cites Sunday keeping as one of the ways in which this will all be brought about. Not only are the wounds being healed, but the mark of the papacy is about to be enforced, as some of you may already understand. They tell us, of course, the Catholic Church claims that the chain Saturday Sabbath to Sunday was her act. And the act is a mark of her ecclesiastical authority and religious thing. The whole world bows to this beast, we are told. The Muslim world, amazingly, is even lining up to bow now. Rolling out the red carpet for the Pope in Saudi Arabia? Amazing. History is being made. Prophecy is fulfilling. And we are told that he deceiveth the whole world. 
Can you see it coming to pass? I pray you do. It is time for our God to work. May he work through each one of you, each one that is watching, that you might stand in the face of the image, that you might choose the right when the education system tries to force you to eat the king's meat or drink the king's drink, the unclean birds and the drink, the wine of Babylon. May our Father strengthen us and may those who are in Babylon see the glory of God and come out of her and worship him who created heaven, earth, and the sea and the fountains of waters. If you would like a free Bible study guide on Babylon or the mark of the beast sent to you, please send me an email at dbaron at gmx.com and I will send you a small study guide which will help ensure your confidence in the words of our Father. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more. Also subscribe to our free newsletter in a link below which is mailed out. And also be sure to like and share these videos to help others understand that the final events are rapidly happening and the signs of the times are coming to pass. Thank you. God bless you. See you in the next video.